welcome back, welcome back. This is still why the morning. I hope you uh, joined us earlier for the little conversation that we had with the presenter, my coasters. And now we are getting to our first conversation of the day on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And we want to uh, highlight or take a look at opportunities in TVET and why are TVET institutions on the rise today, especially now. So for this, we are joined by Bernard Gishui, who is the Dean of Professional Studies at Transafric College. Karim Senna, thank Mr. you, Barnard. thank you, thank you, Stephanie. Glad to have you with us. Uh, thank you. Okay, you want to tell us a little bit about um, yourself? Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is Bernard Maena Gichohe. Mm -hmm. I'm from Vika at Transafric College. I'm the Dean of Student as well as the Dean of Professional Studies. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we want to know. Kongesa story, uh, you know, uh, Tibet institutions. For someone who doesn't know about what Tibet institution offers, how different it is, you know, maybe uh, tell us about Tibet institution. What do you have? Well, what is it about? Thank you, Stephanie. Um, to our viewers, then we usually say that Tibet in full is technical, vocational, and uh, education and training. Mm -hmm. This is the, the institutions of, uh, established by government that are the Act, uh, Tivet Act of 2013. Mm -hmm. And uh, majorly, they are there to help in career development for those who either they are dropped out in um, uh, uh, KCP, uh, the primary school, as well as those uh, in KCP, or K KCSE, this called uh, CIPRAS and Bureau. Okay. Yeah, usually the, uh, the, the main aim is to develop careers and uh, help the, the, the candidates or students to be able to get hands-on skills that mm -hmm. they can be able to um, be, be employed in the job market. Okay, yeah, all That's right. career development. Career development, yes. basically. Thank you. And um, is it mostly around that category of people that you've mentioned, those that are school dropouts or those that got C plus and below? Mm -hmm. um, can anyone else go to a TVET institution? Maybe you scored an A, but you can't afford to go to a university. Is it a possibility? Yes. Thank you. Let me say this, uh, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. The initial aim was to help those who scored below C+, mm -hmm. because by then they, they, were, they were not qualifying to go directly to university. But nowadays we have seen in the rise that even those who qualify, those who called above C+, are all the way to A. They are now choosing to go to TVET institutions because the opportunities there are many, and uh, time to study is again very short, and you are given hands-on skills for employment job, uh, for, the, uh, for the job market. Okay. So the, it's more better off in Tibet than uh, I, would, I would say that in the <laughs> universities and, and the rest. Okay, yes. because you get, uh, the benefits are because you get hands-on skills. Yes. And um, what else have you um, mentioned? I have said also the, the programs which are offered there, mm -hmm. they are in tandem to the job market. Okay. You are given practical skills, which are in line with the what the market requires. Mm -hmm. The programs are well researched, and again, they are very well connected to the industry. So right. It's really linked with the market. Okay, so yes. if you're studying mm -hmm. media, you know, you're studying exactly what the market needs. Exactly. So you go to the market, mm -hmm. uh, they get what they are looking for. Exactly. All right. Then you find that uh, even the mode of study is well connected to how the industry operates. You're mm -hmm. in class at one point, and the other you're, you're practicing out, out there is still part of the study. Then you, okay. start, you find that um, it, the way the, the, the program is delivered, it's supposed to help that candidate to be able to have um, the, the, the soft skills and hard skills, mm -hmm. which will enable him to be able to uh, be absorbed in the job market, as well as that person can see be able to employ him or herself okay. easily. What is the structure? in a TVET institution, how, how long is the course duration? Mm -hmm. Do they go for internship, uh, attachment? When you say they go out the field, is that the field going to, to the workplace now to do internships? Yes. Let me say this. You find that in TVET, uh, the structure, even we start from there, mm -hmm. we have those TVET which are the national government and those which are the, the county government. Because okay. career development is all around. It's supposed to be uh, a consultative uh, platform for the government, for both levels of government. So you find that we have those which are in village polytechnics, as well as those which are in the national. The national have the technical and vocational, as well as uh, those which are institutions of, of, of higher technology. Mm -hmm. Then you find that um, the program, since colleges by nature, they are not supposed to offer the programs themselves. They only train. Okay. 
okay. the examining parties with a different exam body, then you find that uh, those bodies uh, have different levels of, of requirement. Uh, for those, for instance, undertaking courses in NEC, uh, NITA, and I ICM, the program is you are in class, for instance, for certificate for two years, uh -huh. divided into a, uh, one module for five, five years. So after every module, there is the attachment part of it for three months. You go to, uh, you are placed with a, an industry player, then you are trained there on, uh, on job training, you get the skills. Then after the course, you go for internship, which is mandatory. So that now, after you are through the, with the course, you are a lead for the job. Okay. Yes. Wow, amazing. <laughs> so how, because you've mentioned two years, how different is it from a diploma, mm -hmm. someone doing a diploma in a university? Uh, you find that uh, in the Kenya National Qualification Framework, then a certificate, or, or let me start from the raw grades, mm -hmm. ATSAN. ATSAN is for those who are either scored KC, uh, in the KCSE, they either got, got a grade E or D minus, mm -hmm. or even those who uh, failed, or those who didn't go to, to, uh, to, K, to secondary schools, then you find that they have only KCP. Those ones, they're supposed to, to be trained for at least one year. One year, one okay. One year. Then they progress to craft certificate for two years. Mm -hmm. Then after that, diploma is supposed to be for three years, according to Kenya, Kenya National Qualification Framework. Mm -hmm. Then after that, they can progress to university if you want to do bachelors, and, they carry, uh, the, 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 and, and then it goes on like, on like that. Okay. Yeah. So basically, mm -hmm. you're giving an opportunity for someone to start from scratch yes. and level up till the to an extent where yes. they can get a master's in another institution after they're done with their diploma. Yes, because we usually believe in mm -hmm. that there is, no, there is no failure. Whether you scored an A or a D mm -hmm. or an E in, case, in KCSE, yeah. there, is no, no there is no failure. Okay. So those, you find that those who, who, who score those raw grades, yeah. at one point they are, they are in despair. They don't believe that they can make it thrive. But TVET is supposed to be, to be able to be uh, the hope for them. Mm -hmm. So that we say that even after you have scored that grade, in career-wise, you can be able to, to acquire a skill that you can be able to earn a living on okay. thereafter. And that um, does away with the perception that TVS institutions are for those that failed. You uh, know. We are evolving from that. Mm -hmm. Because now we are talking of on career development. Career de yeah. Yes. Are you better, so, uh, are you better sorted in uh, TVET or in university? Mm -hmm. Because job market, nowadays you are moving from papers. Okay. Yes. It's so what you can do with a skill. So when you're looking at it, mm -hmm. for someone who wants to join an institution, mm -hmm. what angle or what, um, what are the guidelines for someone to look at for them to know if they want to join a TVET institution or if they want to join a university because maybe they are qualified to join a university or a TVET institution. Okay, like I said earlier, um, basically, whoever, score, whoever has scored cases in the KCSE, C plus and above, he is a candidate of university. But they still can choose to come back to TVET, they do a diploma. Mm -hmm. Then that way they will have made their choice. But for those who scored below that, then they don't have an option. Yeah. You must pass, in the career progression is that you must start from where your grade uh, is classified, the cluster points. Okay. So what matters is, what was your, uh, the KCSE grade? Yeah. No, yes. Now talking yeah. about that person who mm -hmm. got a good KCSE grade, let's say B+, mm -hmm. and they're looking into either going for a TVET institution mm -hmm. or uh, getting into a university, what are the options that, uh, or what are the, things that they should look at to, to decide on where they want to go. Is it the timeline? Is it the fee? You know. um, okay, thank you, Stephanie. You find that uh, in TVET, mm -hmm. uh, the cost for the whole module cannot even uh, exceed for, 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 one, for one year in university. So in, in terms of uh, fees and the rest, that is more, more, more affordable. You find that um, in the whole year, for instance, you can find the school fee that you could pay for the whole year is maybe for, for one semester university. Secondary, uh, nowadays the job market we are talking of, the skills, we are driven by skills. And some of the skills, you can take a shorter time to master them and you start earning from them. Mm -hmm. So you find that the time coverage, uh, the time for, for covering a course is quite well within mm -hmm. the limits. Again, at a shorter, at a shorter um, maybe with a lesser cost. And again, the skills will be delivered 
on a platform that is in tandem with the industry. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. And what are some of the courses being offered in Tibet institutions? Uh, we usually say in every sector mm -hmm. which you find university, the starting point is Tibet. Okay. You must start somewhere. Mm -hmm. You must, if you did this Kwane, then, and you wanted to be a doctor, you have to start, you start somewhere. You must start somewhere. Uh -huh. If you want to be an engineer, for example, electrical engineer or mechanical, and you didn't get the cluster points, then your starting point is in diploma or certificate. Mm -hmm. then you progress. So whatever is in university is also being offered in Tibet. Tibet. Yes. Okay. Yes. So are All there, sectors. Mm -hmm. And are there, because in universities there are schools, universities known mostly for something, mm -hmm. you know, let's say media, we have multimedia university, mm -hmm. or KMC, Kenya Mass, Kenya School of Mass, mm -hmm. you know, for engineering we have Nairobi University mm -hmm. and all that do we do we have Tibet institutions known for different things especially well the, the visual that we are taking or the path that we are taking as the Tibets mm -hmm. nowadays is science uh, technology engineering and mathematics okay, we are calling what? them as STEM courses mm -hmm. science technology engineering and mathematics yeah so we want to to, to focus on since mm -hmm. in Kenya the, Kenya, the Kenya that we, we want to have in 2030, according to Vision 2030, mm -hmm. we want to bring more of manufacturing in the, industry, in the, in the economy. So in the to Vision 2030, TVED is one of the enablers of achievers, of achieving the, that, that goal. Mm -hmm. So whatever we are doing is that the courses that we are offering yeah. are well within the, uh, the, 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 the industry requirements. <coughs> okay. So we are majoring in technology, Science, mathematics, and um, engineering. engineering. Yes. All right. Yes. And in line with that, um, STEM courses, mm -hmm. we have seen, um, you know, organizations, bodies trying to push for ladies, women to get into STEM courses because uh, there's an imbalance in that sector. Mm -hmm. So how are you seeing it in the, in the Tibet institution you are in and other Tibet institutions? <laughs> yes. Uh, currently, the girl child is doing very well. The, up, the uptake of the courses is uh, in, on, the, on the rise. Okay. We can even say now, we are almost close to 40, 60 parents in the STEM mm -hmm. courses for okay. both male and uh, female students. Okay, so we're yeah. doing good. We are doing good. Ladies are embracing Exactly. STEM you see courses. like uh, early mm -hmm. on, the technical courses were left to the boy child. True. And nowadays what, what's happening is that uh, we mm -hmm. are finding women or uh, girl child in uh, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, civil engineering, uh, hospitality. Mm -hmm. Those industries were majorly considered to be uh, male dominated. And you find that uh, the best part of it is that the uh, penetration in the market, mm -hmm. uh, when you have those courses in it is already then it's very, mm -hmm. uh, you absorb, absorb very fast. Yeah. Okay. So the balance is almost we are we're, we're getting into the, a balance yeah, to the equilibrium. Yes. Wow, that's a yeah. good some good news there. Yeah, exactly. And uh, we're also talking about the rise of Tibet institutions, mm -hmm. and I've read somewhere mm -hmm. that um, technical and vocation education training Tibet courses are gaining traction in Kenya mm -hmm. due to the much support and attention they drew from the government. Exactly. So are you agreeing with this? <laughs> yes, we fully agree because mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the fiscal policy of the government for the last five years, mm -hmm. uh, we have seen more improvement in uh, infrastructure development, more funding to the uh, Tibet courses. Nowadays, we, we talk of even to be placed in a, in a Tibet institution, you can apply through COOPS, mm -hmm. the Kenya uh, Universities and Colleges Placement Board. Yeah. Yeah. Secondary, the facilities that uh, a college, a university student is getting, like HELB and the rest, are also being offered to the TV yes. institution. Yes. So government is deliberate. Because if you have to achieve the Vision 20, that then one of the enablers is we want to have more technicians mm -hmm. or more uh, people with the technical skills than the traditional <laughs> university degrees or humanities. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're oh. also agreeing to the fact that Tibet institutions are on the rise? Yes. So, what, on the do rise. We, so yeah. what do we expect to see now that they are on the rise? How are we to benefit? Uh, you, and you mentioned we, this is in line with Vision 2030 of exactly. the government. Yeah. Uh, so how, t tell us more about it. What are we expect? What should we expect now that the institutions are arising? Okay. In the near future, Mm -hmm. then we'll be talking of we either have two courses and one to be fundamental is a technical course. So Why? Can you come again? 
in the near future. Mm -hmm. Either you have two courses. Because, two courses? Yes. Because it's got to be fundamental that you must be having a technical skill in an area. Okay. You find that with the level of technology coming in, then you find that uh, the, 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 the skills which are, are being offered currently, especially in business or the humanities, mm -hmm. they are being quite taken over by technology. Right. But you find that with the technical skill, the elimination due to the, to the threat of uh, technology is quite minimal. Right. Yeah. And uh, to survive in a mechanized industry or economy mm -hmm. that we are, we are, uh, striving, we are uh, trying to, to achieve as a Kenya, then you require at least you can do something uh, with your skill, technical. Okay. So in the manufacturing, in the transport, in service industry, in banking, everywhere. Tell us a little bit about the technical bit of the different industries mm -hmm. and so that people understand what they're missing. For instance, in media, mm -hmm. of dead media. So what is it that media people, mm -hmm. uh, professionals rather, mm -hmm. will need to add on the technical side of it? Mm -hmm. What is it that someone in hospitality mm -hmm. doing, um, you know, um, catering or something will need to add from the technical side? Uh, majorly what we are trying to achieve is uh, you have a wrong course. Like for instance, if you have done food and beverage, mm -hmm. that's a wrong course. So you require a, a wrong, yes, uh -huh. a wrong course. You have you are trained overall mm -hmm. what is you what you can do in the hospitality industry. But we are moving on to in which in which area you are an expert in. Mm -hmm. So that expertise will require the soft skills. You get mm -hmm. like I'm I, I'm in food and beverage. Like for instance, I can be able to do culinary arts, that's a soft, soft skill. Right. I can major in uh, bakery uh, and pastry. I can major in barista or coffee making. I can major in tours. Mm -hmm. So he, he, trying to create a portfolio, a consortium of the skills that you can do. Okay. In, uh, for instance, you, you, you are in electrical engineering. Mm -hmm. That's your main course, mm -hmm. is it? So what else can you be able to do as an expert? You can talk <coughs> of refrigeration. Mm -hmm. uh, motor rewinding, uh, wiring, you get So trying to create something extra, which you can see is a, is a side hustle. So when the main is not working, then you are in the uh, second plan, which is the soft, uh, the soft skill that you, you have. Okay. If you're in business, mm -hmm. for instance, you still can major in, in businesses, that's your main course, but mm -hmm. what else can you be able to do? You can uh, have a course, for instance, in hairdressing, is it? Right. Or beauty. Mm -hmm. That doesn't require much time. It's okay. quite uh, between six and three, three to six months, All and right. you have the skill. So when you are not in your main, then where else are you hustling in? Okay. Yeah. So it's uh, creating opportunities. Exactly. We're talking about TV creating opportunities. Mm -hmm. You are multi-skilled. Exactly. You don't have to rely on one source of income. So apart from uh, shepherding you up in the job market, it's also preparing you to be your own employer. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Okay. Tell us about more more of this opportunity, more of the opportunities that Tivet institutions are creating. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also read somewhere mm -hmm. that um, let me let me get it. Um, uh, students who graduate from Tivet tend to have a high employability rate than degree graduates. I don't know how true that is, <laughs> but we can tell us that when you tell us about the opportunities that are there. Uh, yes, so Tivet graduates have more, uh, have a higher rate of being employed than the university students. Mm -hmm. One of the factors I would attribute it to is the mode of delivery. We are not mm -hmm. just in the, in the examining part that you have passed that's not the, the, the main aim. The main aim, have you got the skill? Mm -hmm. So you find that uh, the platform that the student, the TVET students are being undertaken, or the, the mode of delivery, is hands-on. Mm -hmm. So we are result-oriented. It's not just having the paper or sitting for the exam. It is the, in the mode. Mm -hmm. So you find that that student is, has more skills compared to that university, exactly. Then you find that, that in another one is that um, Mm -hmm. This student, Tibet student, like unlike university, we yeah. offer a particular course with intended purpose. It is not just the whole thing. We have broken it down to specifics that we can be able to have a student master in. Okay, because you yes. have uh, researched in the market. Exactly. Okay. They are, the, the courses are, are job driven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay, you said the courses are job driven, mm -hmm. but still in Kenya, there's 
a problem with low rate of employment, especially among the youths. Mm -hmm. So is it still helping or you might have the skills, but there's still no opportunities <laughs> because if they're not there, they're not there. Uh, well, unemployment is one of the, uh, the main uh, problems that we have in Kenya, especially the youths, mm -hmm. but not as much as with the students. Why is because we are, we are not just training for employment. We also have some element of entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So we take you through. You can either be employed or you can employ yourself. What do you need to be employed? What do you need to be a self-employed person? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about uh, the entrepreneurship bit, especially mm -hmm. today being Entrepreneurship Tuesday mm -hmm. for someone uh, out there who's been so much focused in looking into employment, job hunting. Mm -hmm. Every other day they've not gotten a job maybe for two years and they're really frustrated. What are some of the things to look out for when getting into entrepreneurship? Let me link it with uh, the, what we are doing currently in Tivet. Okay. Uh, one of the main steps that you, you can be able to, to you can a student should be able to do to bridge the gap between the being employed and not mm -hmm. is that the, the course you, the, the course that you are choosing mm -hmm. it should not be you are doing you are doing it because you want to be employed by like so and so you see employed somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So it is just taking a course which you know by your hobby is that you can be able to have it uh, translated into a business. You can do it yourself, mm -hmm. if not employed, because you find opportunities come. But with a skill, what are you doing else mm -hmm. if you're not employed? So in entrepreneurship, then we say uh, our trainings are major, uh, usually major on the focus, or mainly focus on uh, mm -hmm. the core thing, but also we have uh, free courses like for marketing. How do you market for your uh, business? How do okay. you source for your finances? Mm -hmm. How do you manage the business? Mm -hmm. 